guy who went from playing Mike in Swingers to becoming one of today's best directors, to one of the worst, to one of the best again. What does that mean? Comes the year's best film about talking animals. You must be the very worst wolf I've ever seen. Which is really saying something because there's been like 10 of them already and the year's not even done yet. The Jungle Book. Disney is remaking all their animated classics into live-action movies, and Jungle Book was next on the spreadsheet. So pull up your red diaper and join the pack for this well-written, visually stunning, action-packed movie with great characters? Look, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is way better than it deserved to be. You remember loving the original animated Jungle Book, even though it's really not that good. Now they're giving a new twist to an old classic. This one has a plot. Follow along on a young man's search for acceptance in this winning combination of The Lion King, a Ben Kingsley nature documentary. By law of the jungle, drinking comes before eating. And a kid-friendly version of The Revenant. Jeez, I hope there's no deleted scene where he sleeps inside of a rhino. Watch yourself, please. Journey deep inside a downtown Los Angeles blue screen studio where a grown man spent months playing with a little boy in his underwear that they turned into this? Holy crap. There, you'll meet Mowgli, a parkour-loving orphan MacGyver who must leave the safety of his family to escape Sher Khan, a scary f***ing tiger. So now you know fear. Khan will do whatever it takes to keep his jungle safe, even if it turns him into a monster, while Mowgli will prove Sher Khan right by using man's destructive fire to stop him. So wait, which one's wrong? This is a lot of death for a kid's movie. Enter a whole new world of Hollywood A-listers, pretending to be animals who act just like those same Hollywood A-listers, like Baloo, a lovable old Bill Murray type. No need to get worked up. King Louie, a giant ape who appears whenever you play the cowbell, kind of like Christopher Walken, and Ka, a boa constrictor with sexy exposition eyes who proves that whether she's playing a killer alien, a fancy iPod, or a giant snake, Scarlett Johansson's voice will still probably turn you on. Would you like to see? Enjoy a remake that didn't just improve on the original story. They also cherry pick the only two good songs, then for some reason give a classic like Bare Necessities to two people who can barely sing. I could be fond of, of my big, big home. And turn I Wanna Be Like You into a Christopher Walken solo number. What we do? I wanna be like you. And we all know how that turns out. Once I get me hook in Peter, Life will go from sweet to sweeter, I say. If they can make us sound good, you know, it's kind of a miracle. So strap in for a movie full of incredible sets, photorealistic animals, and the word man cub. 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 A man cub. A man cub. A man cub. A man cub. It's a man cub. It's a man cub. A man cub. I'm a man cub, all right? Just leave me alone. In a groundbreaking definitive version of the story that's impossible to top, but Warner Brothers and Andy Serkis are going to try in 2018 anyway. Because, God forbid, a CGI movie come out that doesn't include Andy Serkis. Where would you be without me? Hey, hey guys. You know, sometimes it's okay to just, you know, like, not make a movie. Starring One Real Boy. A bunch of random guys in blue bodysuits. Hey guys. Other guys in motion capture leotards. Cute little hand puppets. Giant creepy puppet heads. Even creepier puppeteers. <laughs> a log. Some grass. Flat screen monitors. Very temporary CGI. John Favreau pretending to be a bear. And a whole lot of blue screen. Jungle Book 2 The Wrath of Sher Khan. So I know we mentioned it when we did the original, but Jungle Book 2 is totally going to set up Tailspin, right? Please? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, do you wish all your favorite movies had an awesome end credit scene? Then check out the latest batch of all new After Credits, our exclusive animated series with how it should have ended. Click the box on the left to see our After Credits scene for Jurassic World, and check out even more exclusively on ScreenJunkies.com. And don't forget, Emmy voters, this is your last week to vote for us to win Best Short Form Variety Series. So share the box on the right and help us bring home sweet Emmy gold. Now, let's read some dumb comments and show those TV Academy members what they're voting for. How the hell we got nominated for a Emmy? Hit him with the hine. I'm Rick.